As the road blurs beneath our feet and fueling stations pass on both sides of our vision, we are reminded of the crossroads that our society has reached. The fossil fuel industry that has framed our lifestyle for decades now urges for yet another chapter of our dependence on the sources of energy within our soils. They advance projects of enormous proportions, pipelines that would span our continent, transporting hundreds of millions of liters of oil every day. Oil that if spilled would devastate our land and the water that we rely on. Oil that if burned would be the end of our climate and the livelihood of a great portion of our population. But there is a culture of resistance forming. From the activists blockading Line 9 construction in Ontario and Quebec, to the ranchers in Nebraska fighting to preserve their land and their livelihood, to the First Nations who have formed an unbroken wall of resistance in British Columbia. People are standing together and saying no. No to the egregious exploitation of the earth. No to the violation of indigenous rights. No to a further dependence on fossil fuels. No to these pipelines. But now, a corporation called TransCanada has turned its attention to the east. They're pressing forward on a new project called the Energy East Pipeline. 4,600 kilometers of pipe would carry 1.1 million barrels of heavy crude oil per day from Alberta to export terminals in eastern Canada. If constructed, Energy East would be the largest oil pipeline on the continent. It is now our moment to join hands and raise fists, our responsibility to resist this pipeline. Right now, our team is cycling through Eastern Canada. We are stopping in communities that are already organizing against the pipeline to help build our collective power. As we pedal forward, we will carry the passion of the people we've connected with. We will amplify their voices and ensure that their presence is known. Over the course of two months, we will bike more than 3,000 kilometers because we believe in the people united. Because we need to stop this pipeline because we need to build our future. We need a movement. We need resistance. This is the Energy East Resistance Ride.